My name is Al Abramson. I'm the Vice President for Strategic Engagement for the National Armaments Consortium, where we collaborate, innovate, and dominate. I'm thrilled to host a series of discussions with some thought leaders, some senior DOD Department of Defense officials who are here with us today during our inaugural Advanced Weapons Technology Summit being hosted down here or here at Huntsville, Alabama. This event, we have over 700 registrants. We have over 60 government brief requirements that are gonna be worth about $4.5 billion. Today, I'm sitting with Colonel Yelvertson. Colonel Yelvertson just got off the stage. He's the project manager for Integrated Fires and the Rapid Capabilities Office. He also holds another title. I'm going to ask him to tell me what that was. What was that other title? I'm also about? the uh, acting deputy for acquisition systems management uh, for the uh, PO missile in space. Well, first, welcome. Thanks, Thank sir. you for joining us for a couple of minutes. And I was told that the longer your title is, the more important you are to the organization. You have two long titles, so you are doubly important to the organization. Huh, I don't know how to take that. I'm not really sure that's a true statement some days. Oh, I'm just a some days. Busy, it just means you're a busy uh, leader within the organization. Well, you give a lot of work to the one that can run the hardest and run the fastest. At least that's what I did. Well, I, I appreciate the comment, sir. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, so I'm going to ask just a couple of questions. I know we know you just got off the stage, uh, imparted some great knowledge, great capabilities within PEO Missiles in Space. And wanted to start off with this. Um, what is your overall impression about this inaugural Advanced Weapons Technology Summit. So what a great opportunity to get all the consortiums together and, and talk and collaborate uh, about pushing innovation forward, yeah. right? Um, I, just in the time that I've been here this afternoon, which is a, a couple hours so far, I've run into so many teammates that support PO Missile in Space yes. with their efforts uh, to ensure that we're pushing capability to the warfighter as fast as we possibly can, innovating as fast as we can, taking lessons learned yes. of what we see our systems do today yes. and roll them back into our systems to provide even more capability to the warfighter yeah. uh, in, in, uh, at the, the speed of relevance. Yeah, that's, that's great. So and you provided some great information, great, great information, great overview about what uh, PEO Missiles in Space provides to the warfighter, but of all that, is there one or two strategic messages that you wanted to reinforce with folks watching us today as part of your message today? So, so yeah, I mean, so for this audience uh, that we have here at the uh, AWTS, yeah. um, I, I wanna focus on how important it is for the consortiums and the US government's interaction uh, to move capability forward, right? It's incredibly important to us that we get that teaming yeah. together to push that capability. Yeah. And then on a, on a grander scale for the PO missile in space, you know, we're focused on that integrated fires uh, aspect yeah. of bringing all of our capabilities within the portfolio together to bring to bear on the enemy a, a, a powerful weapon system. Yeah, that's, that's um, great. You know, through air and missile defense up front and early, uh, and then over time bringing in the offensive fires capability into that integrated fires um, uh, uh, system that we're, we're building within the PEO. Yeah, so now, now during your talk, you talked about some 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 good win examples, mm -hmm. if you will. Do you mind sharing that? Yeah, one yeah of those, definitely. One of those so, examples? you know, what I shared downstairs was, you know, 17 plus efforts in the last uh, year, $750 million wow. worth of effort. Uh, some key efforts that, uh, that I was part of in my previous uh, project management job within the PEO Missile in Space uh, was looking at taking an M26 rocket that yeah. has expired, yeah. teaming with the AMTC uh, consortium, finding uh, some teammates that could wash out and regrain the rocket propellant inside of that rocket motor case. Yeah. And we did that in about two years time frame from initial thought yes. to going to White Sands missile range and proving that capability out. But an even more important capability here recently was along with that M26 rocket motor, we utilized the case, yes. the, the, the rocket pod that those rocket motors are in to feed our guided MLRS uh, production line. Wow. So we were able to save the taxpayer money by reusing existing technology. The downside is we're about to use up all those M26 rocket pods <laughs> yeah. and we need a replacement for that. And wow. so we went to AMTC yet again and asked for help and vendors stepped up. We had a competitive opportunity, two vendors moved forward. And at the end of the AMTC effort, one vendor was able to prove out the build to print because yeah. the government owned the TDP for the pod. They were able to build it to the specification, 
load it up with uh, guided MLRS or practice rounds, yeah. take it to White Sands Missile Range and fire it and prove that it works. Wow. Just in time wow. for what we've been providing to Ukraine has uh, driven us along with our increased foreign military sales to increase our production rates. Wow. And with that increased production rate, we needed more rocket pods for our guided MLRS production line. And so this team that completed that rocket pod uh, build to print effort, yeah. thought they were gonna go into limited rate initial production, production a yeah. few hundred Outright, in the first yeah, year. Sure, yeah. And uh, we challenged them with, you need to team up with the industry prime and uh, I need you to go to full rate production overnight. Wow. Uh, and that team stepped up and they're bringing that to fruition. We never would have been able to support the U.S. Army's need yeah. for increased production capacity yeah. had it not been for that AMTC effort that allowed us to move fast yes. through the development and production and uh, um, proving out that system right. through test and then jump right. into for, full rate production. Yeah. So yeah. the AMTC effort, the consortium effort that this uh, summit here represents yes. was a huge benefit to PO missile in space in that, uh, from that point of view. You know, and if I can help just a little bit, I may add, going into production is not an easy feat, <laughs> especially going from what you talked about from zero to a hundred, I'll use that analogy, overnight, because there are some manufacturing readiness levels. You know, building five and 10 is different than building hundreds at a time, and that's no easy feat. Absolutely correct, sir, and that particular uh, company started off when they were developing and building up those initial pods sure. for test, sure. it was an empty building. Wow. Uh, so they stood up the entire manufacturing line. Uh, they built the manufacturing line to handle full rate production, yeah. but then they also ensured that they went out and got the human resources required and the raw materials to be able to go to full rate production wow. as fast as possible. Wow. So let me give you a question. What are some of your thoughts on the power of collaboration between government I think I know the answer, but government, industry, and academia as events such as this one. It is key and essential to us continue to move forward uh, in support of our warfighters. Yeah. If we're not working together to come up with creative, innovative, innovative solutions, yeah. if we're not sharing our requirements and even our initial thoughts of what we think the requirements are going to be, uh, it, then industry doesn't know what to work on. Yeah. I, I continuously take meetings with any industry partner that wants to meet with me as a, as a PM and talk about, and use that as an opportunity to talk about what we're thinking about today. Yes. I know that the Army might change their mind in a, in a couple of years, but I maintain that open communication sure. with my teammates and forums like this allow me to talk to many of them at the same time yeah, yeah. Uh, and share what the Army is currently thinking about yeah. so that one, we're not wasting industry's precious IRAD dollars yeah. on something that turns out the Army didn't but, need. Well, yeah, um, sure. So events like this allow me to talk to many people at, in, at the same time in, in, a, in a one day time frame, sure, if you will. Sure. Uh, and so uh, that collaboration, yes. that is wow. critical. critical. It's powerful yeah, uh, yeah. to allowing us to do what we need to do for the United States of America. Well, we're almost out of time. I wanna say thank you for spending some additional time with us, sharing some of your thoughts, some of your insights, uh, and overall, thank you for your service, your continued service to our nation. To those out there that have watched this, thank you for joining us. Please go to the National Armaments Consortium website or sign in and follow us on our LinkedIn accounts. Until next time, collaborate, innovate, and dominate. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.